Thaddeus Young and welcome to uh, Modeling Sonic Part 2 and this part I'm going to uh, put some finishing touches on the body and then I'll put the uh, legs in so what I want to do to touch up the body is hit control and then R here and make an edge loop in the middle of these uh, vertices here on the side and now I want to hold alt and then right click on this edge and then shift alt and then right click on this edge so, so I can select multiple edges at the same time and just move them in like that so now you can see we're starting to get this uh, <coughs> this uh, shape that he has on his stomach we just have to shape it it doesn't have to be exact right now <coughs> Let's hit Z to go in the wireframe, be a box select Click on the blue arrow and drag it up. We can right click this vertice here and shift and right click this vertice there. Use the arrow. Move those down. Uh, so, this is an irregularity. This shouldn't be here. So, uh, to get rid of that, just hit X and vertices. If you didn't have that, then that's cool, but I did it, so I wanted to show you all how to get rid of it. So right click this vertice here, hit G. Right click this one, hit G. So now the body's, uh, well, the body's not all the way finished, but uh, so what we can do now is hit 1 on, the, on your number pad, hit Control R, make an edge loop, use the blue square below the blue arrow and just scale this up like so no, no, not like that like that now we're going to make the spikes that he has on his back so to do that I want to add another loop right here just hit that by hitting control R and then now before you double click you can move the vertice around I mean, you, can, I mean, you can move your group of edges so I want to move it down so like right here and then just left click again I'll right click this vertice here hit G and just move it back right click this vertice G move it up Okay, now select, with that vertice selected, select this one with shift and hold while holding shift, right click this one, right click this one, right click this one, right click this one, and this one. Hit 3 on your number pad, and I'm going to hit E for extrude. Don't click anything yet, just use your mouse and move it out. Now left click. Now you see that we've added geometry to our mesh that wasn't there previously. Now, so what we're going to do is right click this vertice, shift, right click this vertice, shift, right click, shift, right click. You can actually hold shift, you don't have to keep pressing it, but I'm going to hit G to move this. Uh, I guess I hit R to rotate it a little bit. G to move it out again just a little bit. Okay. Hit 3 on the number pad again. And now let's start shaping it to look like this spine here. So I want you to hit B for box select. Start up here where we extruded it at. And left click and drag. And there you go. 
I want you to hit R for rotate and rotate it like so. And then hit G to grab to move it around. Okay. Now hit A to deselect. <coughs> B for box select again. <coughs> Left click and drag to about right there. And then hit G again and move this set of vertices right here hit A to deselect B for box select click and drag and then let go then hit G and move these up here then hit A to deselect control R right here to make another edge loop and then left click and then left click again A to deselect hit B for box select click and drag and let go then hit G to grab and just move those up and left click A to deselect B for box select click and drag let go G to grab and then move these up some Okay, so now you see we're starting to get the shape of his, uh, I think those were quills back there. So A to deselect, B for box select, click and drag, B for box select again and click and drag. Now we're going to hit E for extrude again, I'm going to extrude it to about right here. Now it's probably moved out on the side over in this part as well, so hit the click the red arrow and just move it in like so now hit S to that no don't hit S but, uh, if you hit S just right click and then you'll stop doing the operation <coughs> I want you to do now is hit R for rotate and then left click then move it down to about, uh, hit G to move it down to about right here then left click now A to deselect go B to box select click and drag let go just want to hit G and move this in some deselect B to box select click and drag let go G for grab and move it in A to deselect out here I'm gonna get these two vertices so B click and drag let go hit G to grab and move it in so A to deselect B click and drag let go G and left click now I'm gonna add a loop of vertices here so just over one of these edges say so control R and then left click once and then left click twice now with this loop still selected I want to hit G and move it up some and then left click now I want to select these two uh, right click this one hold shift and then right click this one then hit G I want to move it up okay so that's good now to make this part right here I'm just gonna <laughs> select these four by selecting one then holding shift and right click to select the other ones this one hit G and move them out I can rotate it some so that's good now on this in this part of the view we have to of course uh, scale these along the Y axis to make it a bit smaller so with those still selected hold alt and then right click this edge of vertices and then hold alt and right click this edge then with the red square just move it in like so alt and right click this edge of loop of vertices use the red square to move it in same thing here just the red square 
so that looks if I hit tab to going back to object mode that looks good right there okay so that is his upper body now let's get working on his legs so what I want to start off by doing right click select that vertice hit G to move it out a little bit now since we made that edge loop here we have room to put his legs in here so right click this vertice hit G for mo to move it in G to move this G Okay, so we have a good, nice circular shape going in for his legs. And I just want to make one more extrusion here. So hold Alt and right click this edge, this edge, and this edge. Just holding Shift to add on the selections and then hit E for extrude. I'm just going to extrude that down to about right there. That looks good. So now I'm going to click on this red square on the red arrow and just scale it in so now what I want to do is uh, right click this vertice hold shift right click this one hold shift right click this one use the red arrow and move it over <coughs> let's move it back over just a little bit and now I'm going to select this vertice by holding shift select this one by holding sh and select this one by holding shift now to make it easier <coughs> I'm going to hold control move my cursor down here and then just click so instead of you know hitting E for extrude all I did was hit I just hold I just held control and then clicked and it made our extrusion for us if we had three and go in the side view we see we have some uh, issues to fix so right click this vertice here right click this vertice here G move it out right click shift right click G to move it out this has to go in so, so hit the blue arrow and move it up, the green arrow to move it in. Same thing with this one, hit G to move it up. Gonna hold right click, then shift, hit right click for this one, then hit G, move it up. Right click this one. I just want to move it in some more. Now you see that the legs are a bit too uh, wide. So we're going to have to fix that. So hit G and then just move it inward. Like so. Just select this one. Right click. And hold shift. And select this one. Just move it out right click this one shift right click this one and then hit G and move it and hit G again to move this in because we haven't added detail yet shift right click that vertice to move it down to right here so we have now we have a place for the tail So, right click this vertice, shift, right click this one, G to move it up. Right click this one, shift, right click, shift, right click. What I want you to do is hit G and then hit G again for edge slide. And I just want you to slide this group of edges down and then left click. Okay, 
and now to finish up the legs right click on this vertice down here and G move around to move that and then left click right click this vertice G to move it and left click right click this vertice G to move it left click to <coughs> finish that G to so I mean right click select this G to move it about right here and then control <coughs> control R to add an edge loop and I'm going to click once and then with my mouse just move it up and then click one more time now also I want to use this blue arrow and scale this so that it's it becomes a bit more straight so now I can use the red arrow to scale that in so and then move it over bring it down that's good then hit control R again except use your mouse scroll wheel to scroll up one two times to make three loops and left click once and then left click again and then right click this part to see move it in right click this one with the red arrow move it in right click this one and this one holding shift it's the red arrow and move it in then hit control R add uh, two loops here with your mouse wheel left click once left click again control R your mouse wheel make two loops left click once left click again then I want to do one more thing with these here so just alt right click alt right click you know by while holding shift alt right click and then hit Z B for box select click and drag select this whole th thing then hit in the in the first view I'm going to hit R and then Z and then move it out like so and then with the red arrow just move those hit R and Z again and with the red arrow so now you see that it more closely matches the first view okay so that's the end of this tutorial in the next one uh, we will uh, make the tail and the socks on the legs so thank you for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial